Assalamu alaikum students, this is Farwa Batool, your O-level computer science instructor and welcome to another video. So in this video, we will be talking about the fourth type of validation check, that is the presence check. Okay, so in this type of validation check, we basically make sure that the user has entered a particular data field. Or in other words, the data must not be left empty. What it means, let's suppose in a given computer system, there is a data field of name. The user has to enter his or her name. And if the user does not fill any data inside this, it will get a message that you have left uh, you're, you haven't write your name. Please write it because that is something mandatory. You have to fill. You cannot leave this empty. So this is the presence check. We have to see the data field that it must not left empty by the user. Okay. In order to check this, let's quickly see the line of code. This is something I pasted from your book. This is the example of presence check. Look at this. The first line says that please enter your email address. So it means the user must have to enter the email address and this field should not be left empty. Now, we have a repeat until loop and this loop will not terminate till you will satisfy this until condition. And what is the until condition? Look at here. Email address, that is a variable in which you will store the user's data if it is not equals to this. It means that there must be something within this variable. The user must have to fill this. If it is not equal to empty, this is basically empty. That says that no data. So it must not be equal to no data. Or in other words, th there must be something in email address. Only in that case, you can go out of the loop. But if your email address is equal to this, which represent an empty field or an empty variable. So, if it is equal to an empty variable, then you will stay within the loop until the user enters a valid data. Now, quickly see that let's suppose if the user has left this space empty, then what will happen inside the loop? Okay. So, let's suppose there was a field of email address and for the first iteration, the user by mistake does not write anything in the field. Then it will go inside your repeat until loop. There will be nothing saved in email address. So it means it is equals to nothing. Empty. When you have a variable that is empty, it means it has no value, which can be represented like this. Two quotations because it's a string. And a string with no data is represented like this. Now, the look at this if condition. This is the conditional statement. It is going to check if the value of email address is empty equals to no data. If this if condition is true, Look at this, if email address is left empty, so it must be equal to this, empty data. Then, in this case, you have to say that this field is required. You have to make an static equals to required. This is the output message. This specifies the user that please enter the email address. You can't leave this field empty. Next. It will check the until condition and we know that email address not equals to empty, which is false. Why? Because we know that the email address is equal to empty. It is left empty. So in this case, until condition is false. 
in the next iteration let's suppose the user enters the email address farva at gmail.com so once we add something inside then we will go again in the repeat until loop we will save this value in the variable that is email address farva at gmail.com so now there is some value inside the variable so if condition will become false because if condition says that you have no data in the email address but we know that now email address has some data so it becomes false and when this condition becomes false we quickly go to the until condition and now the until condition is true why because look at this until condition says that email address not equals to empty and this is true yes it is not empty it has a value so remember when the until condition becomes true you can go out of the loop because this means that you have the valid data thank you so much for watching this video it is all about presence check how you make sure that the data has been entered in a particular field and it is not left empty stay tuned stay connected in the next video we will be talking about the format check and the check digits bye bye